Hey guys, uh, welcome to your uh, career and money reading for Leo for your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter signs for April 2023. So we're going to take a look at your over energies, what's surrounding you, what you guys need to know when it comes to your career and your money for the month of April. And then we'll finish off the read with the outcome and advice and what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on. So um, apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Leo people. Not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Um, like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live, all right? So Leo, tell me about Leo here. What's going on with Leo in their career, in their money here for April 2023, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs? Tell me about Leo in their careers here. For April 2023, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Leo. And Jupiter signs for Leo here. Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini here. Ace of Cups. Okay, so I feel like there's a new beginning that's happening here. I mean, a lot of you guys could be, you know, in this you know i this is interesting because i feel like some of you guys are in some sort of like art apprenticeship or something like that and i do feel like you guys are pursuing you know perhaps fully committing to doing artwork here okay because i feel like you guys have been in you know in some sort of art apprenticeship or some sort of school to, uh, school uh situation where you're doing art stuff okay um so you know i i feel like you're learning and doing at the same time here okay because whatever this is this is really emotionally fulfilling for you uh leo all right page of swords leave aquarius gemini we have the star card here aquarius energy and ace of wands you know i feel like this is your calling some of you guys could have made a huge career shift maybe left the nine to five uh matrix and just you're starting your own thing here. The star card, Aquarius energy. Um, this is interesting because I'm getting like, you know, kind of like a wavy flowy sort of type of art, uh, art thing here that you do. Uh, you know, if it, if it's like, if it's like sculptures, it's kind of like very, very, very unique and it kind of really stands out. Um, that's so interesting because I feel like, you know, when it comes to sculptures, some of you guys might be using like household stuff to build your sculptures, you know, buckets, you know, utensils, you know, um, uh, I don't know, anything that you can find in the home, you're like using it to build stuff. All right. Uh, we have judgment in the Ace of Pentacles, lots of aces here. Look at that. It's like, this is an opportunity that you cannot miss out on. I, I, I feel like you're being called to do this, okay? I feel like you're being called. The star card, judgment, Sagittarius energy, page of swords. The Hierophant, Taurus energy, Ace of Cups, and the Sun, Leo energy. Some of you guys could be learning about astrology here too, or reading about astrology. I mean, your artwork might be about the celestials here too, but yeah, some of you, I, you guys are learning a lot here, I feel, uh, Leo. So the Hierophant, Taurus energy, the Sun, Leo energy, the Star card, Ten of Swords, Ace of Wands, and the Chariot, Cancer energy. It seems like you're making a decision to end one thing and move towards something new here, especially with the aces here, uh, uh, Leo, all right? Uh, judgment. We have the Five of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, and Temperance. You know, one of the things I'm getting here is that, you know, you could be, you know, in your emotions about this. Maybe even maybe maybe even your head in your head, but I feel like your your guides and your angels and your ancestors are stepping in, saying that you should pursue this because if you don't, you might regret it. You now I do feel like there is a fear of stepping out of that safety net, you know, of the nine to five matrix here. But 
you know, I just feel like, you know, there is a, a energy of like wanting to do something for yourself here, Leo. What else does Leo need to know? What else does Leo need to know when it comes to, the, when it comes to their career and their money for April, 2023, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter signs for Leo. Six of Pentacles and a Two of Cups. Ten of Wands and the Death card. Yeah, there's an ending here. Uh, you know, I do feel like there's a work situation. It has to, it has to be, you know, I, I, I'm getting it's kind of like a nine to five situation that you're trying to step out of. This is something that you don't want to give anymore because it's not emotionally fulfilling for you. You just don't feel satisfied. Yeah, you just feel, you're just not reaping the rewards here. The Justice card and Seven of Pentacles here. I mean, some of you guys could be lawyers or something like that. You realize that maybe it's not your jam. If you guys work in law enforcement, that's not your jam. If, if you guys work in information technology or cybersecurity, that is not your jam. You're realizing that you're wasting your time here. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles. The Empress Libra Taurus, Two of Cups. Knight of Swords. So I feel like you're really pursuing something here that in art, because you have all these, you have all this creative energy here that needs to be moved or needs to be shown here. Okay, Knight of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. So I do feel like you're definitely birthing something new here. And I do feel like there's going to be a lot of growth and expansion here for you, you know, personally, because I feel like this is going to be really healing for you too. You know, not just for, you know, you know, you know, showcasing it to people, but for yourself here, the Ten of Wands and the Five of Swords, the Death card here and the Seven of Swords. One of the things I'm getting is that you're putting yourself first. With the Seven of Swords, you're definitely stepping away from something that's no longer serving you. You're like getting away from it. Like I said, I feel like you're stepping out of the matrix here. Yeah, I do feel like, you know, if there is a situation that, like I said, it could be that you're getting paid really well, but you're not even enjoying it. Uh, uh, Seven of Pentacles here and the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, you're just wasting your time. You're about to walk away from a work situation that's just no longer serving you. And, you know, I just feel like, yeah, you know, I just feel like you're stepping out of the matrix and pursuing your calling here. You're pursuing your calling. Eight of Cups, the Devil the world yeah this is it for you you're walking away from a work situation that's no longer serving you and you're just starting something new it, it has something to do with art but you know it, it you know just apply this to your own unique situation i mean you could be just like switching careers or jumping to a different industry or something like that so uh leo i hope that this was helpful i hope that this resonated if it did leave a comment down in the comment section below share this video like this video if you haven't done so yet subscribe Hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.